Hello, my name is Heather and I'm an oil painter and a mixed media artist. Today I am going to show you how to use a Sizzix. This is a request from Mind Brick Layer. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will for future art videos and let's get right to it. So this is the Sizzix. It comes with two um, plastic plates. And this is what you will use to put your die cuts in between when you're, um, I guess, what do you call that? Like cranking it or spinning it through. And so let me show you. You get a piece of cardstock, you put your die cut, then you put the other piece of um, plastic. over it and then you just crank it through and I don't have a whole lot of space right here where I'm filming so I had to move it down a little bit so that you can see the process and then voila you have your cut out little piece it's so easy And so fun and if you make a lot of tags the tag one is a really good die cut to have but they have so many like hearts and circles and squares and snowflakes and I mean just anything that you can dream up they have which really come in use and are like really helpful for like making cards and things in your art journal you know just anything you could dream up so now I'm going to show you how to use an embossing folder. And on the Sizzix, it actually has like instructions of, you know, which layer does what, as far as like which cuts the die cuts, which does the embossing folders. So you, you can just read um, how to do that. But now I'm taking the two plastic sheets and I'm putting my die cut in between, or not my die cut, but my embossing folder, and I'm just spinning it through. And I will show you what it looks like. See, it's so neat. And these are especially awesome to use in mixed media projects or in your journal or anything, but they're really neat how it embosses on that paper. And that is what a Sizzix is. There are, yes, several different brands. I know Tim Holtz has a very cool one. I don't even think that you have to like actually use the handle. I think you just press a button and it will do the cutting automatically. Um, I know you can buy this Sizzix on Amazon, scrapbook.com probably carries it, and Michael's, places like that. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will for future art videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye!